Hey guys, how's everyone this week? Here I am from beautiful middle of nowhere, Saskatchewan. Yep, look at that. All the beautiful scenery, the crops. Isn't it nice out here? Well, you see, this week I'd like to talk to you a little bit about, I bet you it's a story you've heard of. It's, it's David and Goliath, okay? Well, We've all heard the story of David and Goliath, and I bet I heard you guys, some of you raised your hands, some of you said, oh, me, 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 I know. I'm going to take a little bit of a different take on this, but let's start with the story. You know, David was out there, he was fighting, you know, or Goliath was out there, and he's up against all of the, the, uh, of, the of David's army, and, and he's out there, and he's this big, strong, tough, mean guy. And everybody's afraid of him. All the warriors, all the soldiers, they're all afraid of him. He's out there and he's just, oh, I'll fight anybody, I'll beat them all. Well, yeah, he was a big, strong, scary guy. Now along comes David, this, this shepherd boy. Now everybody looks at David and they're, you know, everybody I ever talked to, they say David was a little kid. Well, no, David was a teenage boy. And you see, David was he was he trusted God he believed in God and he thought he could defeat Goliath so David he, he he goes I'm going I'm gonna go and I'm gonna fight Goliath so David takes five stones polished stones puts them in his pouch he goes off and he and he goes out to take on Goliath he gets there and all the warriors and all the soldiers are laughing and they're they think it's funny and he doesn't stand a chance and he goes to the the leader and he, the leader gives him his army, his armor, and the, he goes. David goes. This armor's too big. I'm not used to it. David didn't need the armor. He trusted God. So David went out there in his lo his loincloth and his and his little slingshot, and David swung his mighty slingshot and he whipped that rock up and hit Goliath square in the forehead. Goliath fell to the ground, defeated. David defeated Goliath. But what if our Goliath isn't David? Or, is, or isn't a giant? Isn't a, a big, mean, scary guy? Because in reality, David versus Goliath would be like Rupert coming to fight me, say. Now, in a few years, Rupert will be able to take me no problem. But for now, I'm the giant. Now, think about that. Now I want you to think about another part of this story. In the Bible, it talks about having the faith to move mountains. With the faith of a mustard seed, and a mustard seed is very small, we can move mountains. But what if moving mountains doesn't mean literally being Yoda and putting our hand out and commanding the mountain to move? What if the faith to move mountains is taking the time to start moving that giant one rock at a time, one boulder at a time. What if it isn't the simplicity and the quickness of slinging a rock at Goliath and slaying our demon? What if it is doing it one step at a time? Maybe your Goliath is not being able to share with people. Maybe your Goliath is stealing. Maybe your Goliath is lying. Or being mean to your, your siblings or your mom, your dad. What if that is your Goliath? How can you defeat your Goliath? One stone, one boulder, one rock at a time. You start move, removing those demons or those, those sins from your life. You take the first step in lying and you tell the truth. You'll be amazed at how much better you will feel every time a lie is uncovered and a truth is shared. What if to get rid of your, your sin of stealing, the next time you feel like it, you, you don't do it? Maybe you're not perfect, we're Christian, we still make mistakes, but maybe that first time is the first boulder. The first time you deny yourself that thing, it's the first boulder. What if sharing is as simple as 
taking that first toy and saying, here, you play with this right now. You share that one time. That's the step, that's the first boulder to moving your mountain. We've all got things we need to beat. We've all got our Goliaths, but we can all defeat them. One rock, one boulder, one stone at a time. Thanks for coming out and listening to me this week, guys. I miss you all. I love each and every one of you. I hope to see you all again soon. Until next week, God bless.